Welcome back to the news tonight. Well, the Tamil Nadu Congress Committee president has suspended eight rebel candidates who filed their nominations as independents. And here's that list coming up for you on your screens. From Mylapur, it is Sivagami. From Sholing and Alur, M. Mundi Ratinam. From Ambur, Palur Sampath. From Kiliur Kumaradas. From Vellur, Valacha Hassan. From Pera Vurini, Tirunana Samandam. And from Oradanadu, Guna Parmeshwari. And uh, from Singan Alur, Vivi Basan. Well, hardly 10 days to go for the elections. Parties and candidates are stepping up their campaign in every constituency. And our reporter Pratiksha is Willi Vakam today under our constituency watch. I am in Willi Vakam, formerly one of the city's largest constituencies. This year, it assumes special significance, mainly because Tamil Nadu's finance minister, Mr. K. Anbaragan, will be contesting from the DMK side. But the AIADMK, not to be left far behind, has put up one of its most popular candidates, Mr. J.C.D. Prabhakaran, who will be returning to his former constituency nearly after 30 years. And it is expected to be a tough battle between the two stalwarts. Vilivakam constituency now covers just parts of Ananagar, Ainavaram and Vilivakam itself. And the voters want ground-level solutions to their problems. <laughs> Old and neglected is how voters in Vilivakam feel. Rapid industrialization has brought subways, but not solutions to daily civic problems. roads. <laughs> This constituency's voting pattern has always been unpredictable and has never been any party's stronghold other than the last 10 years with the DMK. They have seen every party right from AIDMK and Congress to the Communist parties. Finance Minister K. Anbaragan has not visited the entire constituency yet. His election booth hardly sees any activity. The minister is probably relying on the DMK's success in the last two elections. <laughs> This is exactly what the main opposition AIDMK is banking on. Their tempo increasing with Amma making a pit stop to campaign in the constituency and the candidate Mr. Prabhakar too making frequent visits to the area. There had been a, a, a long-standing pending problem of patta in certain areas. I have already listed them out and the water, uh, water shortage problems are there. I have already listed it out and I have promised them an engineering college. 14 candidates will be contesting here vying for a share of the 1,82,969 votes. Will the star candidate have a successful debut is the interesting question engaging everyone. In Chennai with reporter Pratiksha, Lok Priya, NDTV Hindu. And NDTV Hindu has been bringing you the changes candidates would like to bring about in their constituencies. Today, the DMK candidate of the newly carved seat, Virgam Bakam, makes his poll pledge on If I Win. In Bayer, Dana Segeran, Virum Bak of Satamandra Timuka at Polaraga Poti Rain, Nanwaki Segerica Center Gaburde, Makal, Puripaha, Kalivini Prechenai, Minsara Vasidi Prechenai, Tropic Tropic Prechenai Lang, Kuri Ragal, Nan Gan Kandipaha or Ade Vakuri, Say the Urupadaga, Vakuri Alitulain, Sola the Yim, Sola the Yim, Say the Urukaragum, Sola the Yim, Say the Urupan and Rain, and Alan Telekuri. And adding to the joy of India's Cricket World Cup triumph, well, veteran tennis players Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati won their second title of the season by clinching the Sony Ericsson Open to become number one in the ATP World Tour doubles team rankings. The third-seeded Mahesh Bhupati and Pace rallied to beat second-seeded Max Mernye and Daniel Nestor 6-7, 6-2, 10-5. Well, the Indian Express have congratulated Team India on Twitter. Now, do you want to congratulate our men in blue on live television? Call NDTV Hindu when we come back.